court. Who's your girlfriend? She belongs to Dean of the Knife Store. He's trying out a new act. Well, be sure you keep out of range. I will, Uncle Joey. Thank you, Corky. I see you are taking good care of Rosita. Is that her name? Hey, si, Rosita. That means little Rose. That's my baby. We have a new actor practice. Why do you have to have a new actor? One you do is wonderful. Ah, uh, thank you, amigo mio. But one should always improve. One should never be satisfied, huh? Now we can get more money. Ah, uh, maybe, but <laughs> but it is not always the money. One should do it because of his pride in his work, huh? <laughs> yeah. We're about ready now. Look. See in this act. I use my ears as well as my eyes. See that little clicker on top? Yeah. Now watch. When I hear the click, I know where the top of the board is. Gee. Ready. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like your act is just about ready. It's a good look, I see. Almost. About a week, I will be ready to try the waltz. I'll be ready when you are. Ah. Fine, my little doll. With it, we will be sensational. <laughs> the costume, Lola. What do you wear? Well, I'm taking another lesson on the trapeze. You are not a trapeze performer. You are my assistant. Well, is there anything wrong in trying to do something better? And, well, Marino says I'll be a good flyer. My brother is only trying to make a fool of you. <sighs> if you think so, why don't you come and watch? I have no time for watching. Forgive me, Rosita. I lose my temper. No, they take Rosita back to your wagon. Later, Corky. I want to watch Lola. Now, now I'll try to swing out and mount the board. Watch. your temper, huh? Well, let's have no more of this. If you've got any family arguments to settle, keep them in the wagon. All right, let's break it up, fellas. Get back to work. It's all I'm over. ashamed of both of you. Acting like little boys. Marino, I'm going to move to another wagon. Why do you have such a hot head? Why do you kiss Lola? I always kiss people when I love them. Love? You'll never fall in love and I know it. You've been in love dozens of times. Uh, this time is different. Oh, you say that? Yeah. Yeah, huh? Lola is too smart to fall in love with you. We shall see. After she becomes my partner in the trapeze. Lola will never become your partner in the trapeze. <laughs>
to another wagon. And you'd better get on yours before you blow away. I'm going to go up to see if Bill was all right. Mighty fine thing you did, Dino. Oh, oh there's nothing. A big pull like that could kill a little boy. But it couldn't hurt Dino. I think he's going to be all right. Oh, sure, a little headache, that's all. Yeah, big goose egg. Uh, Turkey, how about a cup of coffee for Dino? Sure. Thank you. All right, men. Let's go put the circus back together. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting one of the most astounding acts ever seen under canvas, the incredible Dino, as he attempts to outline the frail body of his feminine assistant with his splicing blades of razor-sharp Toledo steel. to do is cripple her. But she cannot work with me. But you weren't that good. Believe me, Marino, it is not true. Huh? All right, boys, let's break it up. Come on, let's break it up. You too, Marino, you're on in a few minutes. How do you feel, Lola? Fine. Can I help you to your wagon? No, that won't be necessary. You do not think I did on purpose, do you, Lola? I don't want to think so, no. But it was an accident. I wouldn't hurt you for anything. I love you. You must believe me. Right, then let us both forget it. Well, my brother accuses... Free to work in his act. I will not say no more. Do you mean that? Yes. I'll wire Chicago tomorrow for a new assistant for you. But uh, Lola can still work in my act with me. I think it'll be better if she didn't. Oh. Uh, then you too believe it? No, I didn't say huh? that. But there's always a chance of a slip in an act like yours. I think it'd be better for all concerned if you work with somebody else for a while. In the meantime, you can perfect that new act you're working on. Hi. Hello, Joy. Hey, you must have had quite a morning out with Dino. Yeah, I'm tired. Well, you better hurry up and get washed. About time to eat. Okay. Uh, don't forget those ears, huh? <laughs> Uncle Joy, I'm worried about Mr. Dino. Oh, you don't have to worry about Dino. He'll get over Lola all right. No, it isn't that. I think something's wrong with his eyes. He keeps trying to use a blindfold. A blindfold? Oh, but that's great. A nice throw working blindfolded, yeah. Yeah, but when he takes the blindfold off, he can't see any better. He sort of fumbles around, and two times he tripped and almost fell down. Where's Dino practicing? In the woods behind the big top. I think I'll just go out there with you this afternoon. Well, come on, hurry up. I'm starving. <laughs> That's you, Corky? Yeah. Hey, Dino. Me too, Dino. Oh, hello, Joy. Well, we got some lunch for you. Oh, 
Gracias, Corky. Uh, Dino, say, I've got a great idea. I'm gonna be your new partner. But a nice act always uses a beautiful girl. Oh, sure, I know, I know, but this is gonna be something different, you know. Thrill with laugh. You see, I have two balloons. I hold them like this. I look scared. You break them with a knife. But I still have one balloon left, right on top of my head. But that balloon is full of water. <laughs> when you break that, I get soaking wet. Pretty good, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, we try it someday. Huh? Let's try it now, huh, Gino? <laughs> Pardon me if I crowd you a little. All right, Dino. Fire when ready. What's wrong, Dino? I might as well tell you. This is my eye. Something is wrong. They don't work right. That is why I hate alone. I, I, I couldn't see her. I'm gonna have to tell the boss about this. No, Joey. No, you must not tell anyone. I know I can do this act without my eyes. Then I will be the one to tell. Promise? All right, if that's the way you want it, all right. Hi, boss. Hey, I'm going in town. Anything I can get for you? Hmm? I said I'm going into town. Is there anything I can get for you? No, thanks, Joey. Hey, what's the matter with you? You look like you lost your last friend. No, Joey, I'm gonna do something I don't want to do. But I have to do it. But can I do it for you? Nope. It's my job. I'm gonna give Dino his notice. Oh, no, you can't do that. But well, he's working on a brand new act. It's almost ready to go. Maybe so, but I haven't been able to find him another assistant. It seems like once a knife thrower has an accident, nobody wants to take a chance with him after that. Oh. Well, uh, I guess you haven't heard then. He already has a new assistant. He has? Who is she? It isn't a she. Me. You? <laughs> Come on, Joey. You know knife throwers always work with pretty girl assistants. Oh, I know, I know. But that's why this will be such a novelty. Why, why it'll be such a good attraction. Look, you be in the main tent in half an hour, and I'll, I'll prove it to you. OK, what have I got to lose? Me. Well, already, Uncle Joey? Well, there's been a little change in my plan. Hey, listen, Corky, how's Dino doing with that new act of his, huh? Oh, just fine. Even better than he used to do without the blindfold. Why? Because I'm going to be his target today. But Uncle Joey's only worked for Rosita. Not a live person. Yeah, but you said he could do it. I know, Come but... Here. You tell Dino to get set up in the main tent. I'll get my props, all right? Go on. Okay, all right, Corky, you better tell the doc to come along, too. He's always a good audience. All right. I won't do it. You've got to, Dino. Look, if you don't, I'm going to have to tell Tim about your eyes. Now, come on. Give me a hand, Corky. What's going on here, Joey? Oh, Tim, uh, this is that new trick of Dino's I was telling you about. He breaks the balloons with the knives blindfolded. Blindfolded? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Yeah, yeah, if he can do it. Oh, he can do it all right. Well, good luck, Joey. Yeah, thanks. I'm pretty good when it comes to fixing up minor cuts and broken bones, but I'm afraid I'm going to need some help on this case. 
You better get this man to a hospital right away. If any medication is directed, we'll see that he isn't disturbed. chance could he have received a blow on the head recently I remember when he saved me yeah say doc we had a big windstorm at the circus one day and he was hit on the head with a banner pole and that's the cause of our trouble he received a brain injury that's affected the optic nerve unless we remedy the situation very soon it can lead to total blindness or worse do whatever must be done yes doctor no matter what it costs I'm afraid it isn't that simple. You see, before we can perform an operation, we must have the patient's permission. And Mr. Champion, Dino doesn't seem to care whether he lives or dies. He just about lost interest in everything. Can I talk to him? I'm afraid not. He's under sedation right now. I'd like to keep him quiet. Doctor, would an operation make him well? Well, that's pretty hard to tell. But it's a 50-50 chance that it would save his eyesight, as well as his life. I'll stay here. When he comes to, I'll talk to him. Yes, Doctor. If there's anything we can do, just let us know. I will. Hey, Miss Marino! Hey! How's Dino? I couldn't see him. He wouldn't talk to anyone, especially me. Oh, God, it's something. Ah, my brother's a stubborn man. For three weeks, he hasn't spoken to me. Well, you'd think there'd be something we could do to, to make him change his mind. Maybe. I'll try to think of something. I must go rehearse with Lola. Hey! Hey, you're gonna rehearse at a time like this? Oh, now I've heard everything. Come on. How's Dino? You're late. Come on, let's get to work. Thank you very much. Ladies and 
gentlemen, presenting for the first time anywhere in the world, the knife thrower extraordinary, the amazing, the unbelievable Dino, and his daring assistant, Lola. <laughs> Thank you, Dino, for taking such good care of my future bride. Uh, don't forget, she's also going to be my future sister-in-law. <laughs> hey, Mr. Dino, why'd you change your mind about me and Lola? Because, my little one, sometimes a man can see more without his eyes than he can with them. You see, in the hospital, I knew that Lola and Marino were made for each other. So I want them to be happy and make me happy. Huh? You understand? Yeah. Yeah, I hope I never fall in love. You will, Kirky. You will. <laughs> 